Imagine a structure so vast it's visible from space, a wall stretching over 13,000 miles across mountains, rivers, and deserts, built not just with stone, brick, and sweat, but guided by an invisible force. What if the secret to its endurance wasn't just engineering, but geomancy? Geomancy, known in China as feng shui, is more than superstition. It's an ancient system of understanding how landforms, energy flows, and orientation affect human life. At its core, geomancy is about harmony, positioning structures so they align with Earth's natural energy. Mountains, rivers, and wind directions weren't just landscape features. They were forces to be respected and used. To ancient builders, ignoring them could bring disaster. And it wasn't just China. Cultures across the world practiced their own versions. From the alignment of the Egyptian pyramids to the layout of Mayan temples, ancient civilizations often built with the cosmos and the land in mind. So what does this have to do with the Great Wall of China? Historians believe that its builders didn't just place it randomly. Sections of the wall follow mountain ridges, snake along rivers, and curve in patterns that mirror the flow of energy known as qi. In geomancy, ridgelines aren't just terrain. They're considered veins of the earth, channeling power. By building the wall along these lines, the structure wasn't only defensive, it was symbolic. It stood as a shield against both physical invaders and negative energies. The Great Wall was a fortress, yes, but it was also a psychological and cultural barrier. Geomancy amplified this. The wall wasn't just meant to block armies, but to project stability, order, and cosmic balance. Its gates and watchtowers often aligned with cardinal directions, east for sunrise, west for decline. Each placement carried symbolic weight, echoing beliefs that harmony with the land would ensure strength for the empire. And this wasn't just theory. By following natural contours, the wall took advantage of terrain, making it harder for enemies to scale and easier for defenders to control. The philosophy and the engineering worked hand in hand. So, could geomancy really be the hidden force behind the wall's power? Whether or not you believe in qi, one thing is undeniable. By aligning construction with nature, ancient engineers tapped into real advantages. Following ridgelines meant stronger defense. Building with wind and water patterns in mind reduced erosion. Even modern engineers do something similar, studying wind tunnels before building skyscrapers or using satellite surveys to understand soil and terrain. In a way, geomancy was the ancient version of environmental engineering. And maybe that's why, even after 2,000 years, the Great Wall still stands a masterpiece where human ambition and Earth's natural power meet. The stones may have weathered, but the principles remain timeless. Align with nature, and your structures endure. So the next time you see the Great Wall, don't just think stone and mortar. Think of the invisible lines of power beneath your feet and the ancient wisdom that shaped one of the world's greatest wonders.